Last week, we kind of worked on this area. We made a whole bunch of blocks. Um, we decided that this, I screwed up. This has got to go back one more block, so I'll do that another time. The ceiling has to go higher, and I'm going to go out another eight on each side. From there, we don't know. And of course, i got to put down the floor. No biggie. Um, this is a king's mine. Um, still don't really know what I'm going to call it. Murderous mountains or something stupid or something like that. Um, but we are not going to work in here. I'll put my helmet back on. We are going to go and do some work back at home base. We got some massive amounts of um, stuff to cut out. I just want to bring some diamonds with me because I want to make a diamond. So my plan is there's going to be a path coming out of here. And I don't know whether or not I want to go straight here towards this bay of awesomeness. Um, but it's kind of strange having the edge of the mountain here. So I was thinking of maybe, what's this? Okay. I was thinking of maybe, um, making the stair. I've already gone to, down too far. The staircase from down here up through there, through the uh, side of the mountain. But I'm not too sure. But I have come up with designs for the boat docks. So I don't have to be, um, so it makes things a little easier to get back and forth. And that is what I'm going to do today. I don't know how much of it I'm going to actually get done. Sorry, Mr. Squidward. But we're going to start working on it so we can make our, there it is, our journeys back and forth a little bit easier. And um, I'm going to mirror it over on the other side uh, with the thoughts that the people who made the mines are descendants of the people who have the farms over here. So the architecture is going to be similar, but just a tad different. Of course, it will be based on wood over here, but based on stone on the other side. So at an early age, I uh, was taught to, you know, could not control but to be aware of the thoughts that you have and understand where they come from so you can deal with them and not be so pig-headed about stuff you know um it's okay to have certain thoughts i mean if i if if i was going to get in trouble for my thoughts oh my god i'd be in jail for the rest of my life it's basically what i'm saying um, because I've had some horrible thoughts, and that is from having a really bad negative influence growing up <clears throat> as a dad, and I'm going to have issues as a dad, because the only way I know how to raise a kid is from my dad's example, which was pretty shitty. So, um, it's things I'm... I work on and and I don't go oh look at me poor me I had an alcoholic dad oh poor me I I did this and this I'm saying this stuff because um, all cards in life you know the deck you're handed is not even to everybody else around you but everybody expects the same from you so you better figure out a way to be productive if you want to have a good life um, with a deck of cards you have in your hand right now, or the hand that you're playing for life. So at 17 years old, I was facing 23 years in jail. And was being made an example of, as being the first person arrested in Massachusetts with the mandatory minimum sentences that took over the rage in the 90s. Um, but um, my dad he 
he did good. <laughs> Even though I've been, you know, throwing him under the bus this whole video. He spent a shit ton of money to keep me from screwing up the rest of my life with a felony record on my, you know, history. And he spent a ton of money for a really good lawyer. But I still ended up having to go to jail. Even at 17 years old, they uh, charged me with, as an adult, I should say, imagine being a prisoner and a mom comes in to make sure the place is okay and everybody knows that your mom went to the jail to check it out before you were sent there to make sure it was okay. <laughs> but they were worried. I mean, I fucked up. I fucked up good. And I deserved whatever I got out of that. So at 17 and a half, I did go to jail. <laughs> I was expelled from high school. Um, it was no fun. And believe it or not, I didn't get any grief from the people with my mom showing up to check out the place because um, it wasn't what you consider a normal jail um, it was kind of more of a this is how I when people asked how it was in there I described to them and said it was like a college dorm without women or booze especially Birch Birch and Dark Oak I usually don't work together I even uh, in creative flipped out the birch for regular normal because most people when they're working with dark oak put regular normal wood accents on it instead of the birch I mean it's instead of birch and it looks better but seeing that everybody does that I'm gonna do it differently and hopefully it's still good so um the boat dock on the other side, just to give you a hint, is the same sort of design that I'm making here without the house because it's going to be in the mountain, um, but it's going to be made with wood accents instead. I mean, <laughs> I'm making the wood accents now over here, but over there it's going to be stone instead of this wood because, you know. The area is a stone area, so why would I be building with wood? Gotta build with the stone. Well, you gotta build with the area. So, my area over here is dark oak and birch. So, I'm building with dark oak and birch. Over at the other place has lots of stone and no trees. So, I'm gonna build lots of stone and no wood. If you're wondering, somebody's making dinner. Trying to be quiet, but it's hard to. Ah, oh, suck. Yes. Now watch. That one will be one. The one I just caught will be the one that I finish with. I'll have just enough. And if I didn't catch that last there, right there, I wouldn't have had enough. Please. So the, um, whole thing I was trying to get at at the beginning of the week when, with uh, my father and stuff is that I learned to, no matter what happens, find the positive. Being depressed and borderline suicidal, you learn to, um, if you want to change those, those thought patterns, no matter what happens, you got to find... Um, positives in it so no matter how horrible it, something happens like going to jail or something I look back and I go well if I didn't go to jail I wouldn't be the better human being I am now I probably would have killed myself doing drugs and stuff you have to find the positives and stuff um, if something shitty is going on in your life there's a reason for it everything happens for a reason and if you miss the lessons of the shitty things um 
sorry. It sucks to be you. But if I'm placing blocks right on top of the freaking water, um, that's not going to be good. And where I screwed up was that in the build, I built it on the grass. So when I placed the... Um, soul sand at water level and I build up from there oops I'm just going to stay here and cut these two I was one level too low so I actually did do what my build was except for my build was not over water and I did want that oh shit did I shit myself twice there? Not literally, of course. Give me that. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is f fix this as fast as I possibly can. Get this going again. Um, we'll see what my episode time is for the week. When I'm done tearing this down. And see if I should bother doing it today but at least you guys got an idea of what I'm looking for <laughs> <laughs> 